And from Coventry City, England, and I started when I was 13 years old. My first performance was when I was 13 years old on a song called Tremor Hi-Fi. It was one of, one of my friend's house, um, I think it was one of Mark Lennox's mum's house, there was one of the parties and stuff, and I sang on the sound system. And it sounded all right, so I just carried on, carried on, until I got into um, King Alpha Sound at the age of 15. But I started sound systems when I was 13 years old. My first ever recording was a um, bad card in the depot studio in um, 1995, 22 years ago. That's my first recording ever in the depot studio was in uh, Coventry City. It was called Bad Card, a Bob Marley cover, and uh, Mike Roberts, he was in the band called Print, the band, band called King, King, Paul King. He used to play the keyboards for Paul King, and he produced it, Bad Card. There's many meanings to my name, Fergie Greenspear. Uh, obviously Fergie, but the Greenspear, Back in the day, I used to wear my hats like a spear, you know, with my dreads and stuff like that. And my favorite color is green and stuff. And then my, my brother, Andrew Natural, gave me that name there, Fergie Greenspear, because um, he says that I look like a Maasai warrior, tall like that. So, um, Spear, Fergie Greenspear. I was born in January. So that, and my favorite color is green. And I'm a Naptali. My style is versatile, you know. I follow the people in from um, the 1920s, rag time, my parents' time, you know. That's why I like to dress a certain way, different from the rest, you know. And um, I like Gregory Isaac. I used to like the way he used to dress and things. And um, I like to be unique. I like to wear things what people don't like to wear and stuff like that. That's how I am because I'm an artist, so that's how you do it, you know. My style of singing is um, mainly reggae and stuff. I can sing other things as well, but what inspired me first was Human Dell. You know, when I was a child growing up and stuff, listening to Human Dell, that voice. And I used to like Michael Jackson and all them people, but mainly Human Dell. And the way I sing at the moment, I've kind of got a little bit of him inside me, you know, because you know, there's always there's always someone you know you follow as you're growing up. I like listening to Barry Brown, Dennis Brown, um, Third World. A little bit of Maxi Priest, a lot of all kind of artists, you know, all kinds. Gregor Isaac, Bob Marley, you name it, it's a whole heap. There's a like Marcy Griffiths, Sandra Cross. I like, so there's a few female singers, I just can't think at the moment, but there's a few female singers quite good. I like all kind of music, uh, R&B, so, but my main music is reggae, you know. But I like, I like, I like, I like a bit of gospel because when I was young, I used to go to church and things like that. My mum was in the choir and I used to back, help her back singing when I was about five years old and stuff. So I like singing. I always sing and stuff. So it's not just reggae I'm into. I get my lyrics in there sometimes through, through situations, what I've been through and things like that, you know. Just, it just comes from my head, lyrics. My mum was an old person, old wise person. I used to get um, a lot of lyrics off my mum because we was always reasoning and stuff like that. So she was always coming out with these words. And she's come out with quotes and things like that. And then um, she, she liked doing a bit of poetry, you know what I mean? So I just follow that kind of style. I'm a kind of musical person, so I love lyrics, words, you know? We're right about now, we're in Bristol and I'm making some new tunes, some roots and culture tunes, so 
listen out on YouTube and stuff like that because you're going to get a bomb, you know. But um, I'm seeing a vocal coach at the moment, so I'm working on my vocals because I want to I wanna go high. I like to sing high and stuff like that. And then um, I'm just working on the vocals now. And in the future, things are going to be even better, you know. That's my plan anyway. Don't forget the 10th of June, 2017. We're celebrating 40 years in the music business. DJ Mikey D, Colin Jr. Brown will be playing the music. Ziggy Naturalist, Lloyd McGrath and Christine Benjamin and I and myself will be on stage. Only six pounds to get in, you know, because I can charge a whole lot, but use are my friends and stuff like that. And I'm celebrating 40 years anniversary in the music business from 1977 till now. So, yeah, you know, so make it a day and don't be late. It will be held at the Coventry West Indian Club.